And a very good Sunday afternoon to you all watching here on Somerville Ed TV from the Veterans Memorial Arena. This is high school hockey between the Somerville Highlanders and they welcome in the Lexington Minutemen here for a matchup that is long in the making for Somerville. It's been a bit since they've been able to get back out on the ice, but here we are ready to get going against Lexington. Sam Zucker starts in goal to our right. He'll go opposite of Robbie Larkin in goal to our left. And we're underway here from Veterans Memorial Arena. As the puck comes to Tenzin Gessar and he'll clear it in. Back to pick this puck up, Matt Troy sends one up the wing and it's flipped out through center. Taking it back, Aiden O'Donovan got to the blue line, but that was about as far as he could get. Highlanders trying to forecheck. Puck moves past Marujo to center, and O'Donovan can turn one back in deep. Highlanders in the midst of a full sail change as it's sent on ahead. Matt Hickey plays one off a leg into Highlanders territory. It's moved over by Alex Morgan. Trying to keep are the Minutemen. Nice job there by Danny Cronin originally, but puck moved past him on the second effort. Minutemen moving back in again. This is Matt Hickey, a weak backhander that's handled by Larkin. Highlanders try and send one up the boards. Pressure there from Colvin Callahan. Highlanders look to forecheck in behind the net of Zucker. Pass out in front, hit escapes, and Lexington clears to center ice. Buck sends up the boards and out by Lexington, controlled now by Somerville. That pass doesn't hit O'Donovan and it's cleared in, but into the Highlanders bench by a Minutemen player. And that leads to a whistle here. We're nearly two minutes into this one. On the draw, puck towards Marujo, who will send one up the boards. Guess are there to muscle it ahead, but Lexington holding the line here. Pass sent up the left wing. Andy Yang able to move it in deep, but right to Marujo, who's unable to clear. It's left there and a point shot was blocked, hit off of Cicerone. Good shoulder there applied by Colette on Gessar, who was able to move the puck in, but the Minutemen there to it first. Off of Marujo's ankles. He'll play a backhander that skips the pads of Zucker. Highlanders trying to get in onto the four check. Puck moved around to the far boards. Callahan trying to get it out, but he couldn't. Now the Minutemen will weave away with it. Callahan trying to go one against two, but he could not split the defense. A good play made by Seamus Foley. They get there, delivered near boards. That was by Alex Morgan. Puck is not out though. Held in where it's wrapped back around to the far boards. Lexington there to keep as the Highlanders try and up the physicality. Puck into the corner. Up top to the point now. As the bodies continue to fly, a shot got all the way through. And Larkin makes the glove save. Eleven forty-five to go here in the first. It's one back by Somerville, but Larkin has to cover up. That was a clean face-off win by Matt DeAngelis, but he put it right back onto his own goaltender. He'll try again on this face-off, able to win it away that time from Ryan Moore. Puck to center, but right back. Come the Highlanders, 
stumbling, however, was DeAngelis. Through center ice, got off DeAngelis' blade, back to Marujo, up the boards, got it to a teammate, but Lounsbury will just have to send one in and head off for a change. This should be icing. And it will be here against Lexington. So be Cicerone in to take the face off. Puck knocked on through the slot area. In possession, the Minutemen. It hits off a leg, allows for the Highlanders to move it back in deep. That one rattled off a leg, that hit Liam Hunt. It's driven back in by Somerville. Now out to center, Puck gathered up by Hickey, moving in, snapshot, and Larkin able to fight that off. That sounded like that hit him off the throat protector. Or at least up high along the mask. As it's worked out to center, Kingsbury to play it back in. Highlanders use the glass to get it ahead and Gessar can brush one in deep. Full sail change for Somerville. Puck angled in as Marujo stood up with a big check there. He knocked down Matt Hickey. Right at the red line, as Larkin gloves the long range bid. That was a very solid hit delivered by Dylan Marujo right in the neutral zone. And it knocked back the Minutemen captain, Matt Hickey, who got back to the bench. A-OK. -okay. We're nearly five minutes into the first here. 4.54 gone by. Scoreless so far, but the Minutemen with more shots on goal with four. The one shot on goal coming so far for the Highlanders came on a dump in from center as Marujo tries to lead a man ahead. Now into the crease. It's swept away by Zucker as they try and get back to the front again. Nathan Doe in along with Cicerone. Or rather, Cassesso, who will step in behind Doe on this faceoff. Off the draw, puck played ahead further, but Marujo trying to send it up the boards. It hit a teammate on the bench. Face off inside the zone. Doe was able to win it. Marujo then put it off the pads of Larkin. And he scoops it up off the ice. Almost some friendly fire there. Off the face-off, that chance is wired wide from a very sharp angle. Puck is sent in off of Brendan Jones, delayed offside on Lexington. Allows for the Highlanders to gain the red line and flip one in off the stick of Zucker. Highlanders complete a change as the Minutemen ice it. Two, two is the record Okay. That is certainly significantly more. 
In the circle, puck up for grabs. Worked in deep by Gesser. Trying to get there, Cicerone, he throws a check in the corner. Puck taken back here by the Minutemen, flipped back into Gessar. But it's out through center ice. Gessar trying to shove it free away from Moore. It's played on in by Donahue. Puck off the skates. Cicerone getting it over and Gessar moving in. Hard shot and the glove save is made by Zucker. There is no rebound. Sends in Gessar, number 16 in red, white, and blue. Certainly has one of the more cleaner shots on the Somerville roster. Got a good wrist shot away on that last bid. Nice glove stop from the goaltender Zucker. As off the faceoff, O'Donovan couldn't move it back to the point. Now it could be trouble. Good hit laid on there as getting back was Brady Roach. But the Minutemen have it as it's passed into the circle. Fanned on, though, by Hickey. Now in behind Larkin. They try and battle it free. Hickey was in there. Taken away by Cicerone. He'll scale one out high off the glass. Gessar, the lone forechecker. As Cicerone comes in up high and finishes a hit. But that is going to cost him. As the Minutemen get Zucker to the bench for the extra skater. It's now six on five as they move in and Larkin has to come up with his biggest stop here with 7.47 to go. Able to get across there to stop Callahan, but Cicerone will head to the box and the Highlanders will be shorthanded. Just a two minute minor penalty to Cicerone, who got his hands up high on that last hit. Minutemen trying to break the ice here, but instead it's given up and cleared all the way down by DeAngelis. Minutemen from their own end, one hand to pass up forward. Andy Yang moving in and now he'll drop it to the point. It is played on across, a wrist shot on, and a pad save made by Larkin. DeAngelis sends it ahead. Now it could be a shorthanded rush, but unable to get on through was Slattery, but he follows this puck all the way into the far corner. Nice work by Slattery, one against two. Eventually lost it while down on his knees, and now Yang can carry in left wing side. 112 left on the power play. Yang gave it up. It's popped back out to center with Doe now trying to apply pressure, but we're going to have it blown dead for a hand pass. Good penalty killing so far here for the Highlanders. 6.52 left in the first. 0-0 zero, zero here between Lexington and Somerville. Face off one cleanly back. Minutemen control it here from their own blue line. They'll weave in past Gessar. Driving in Liam Hunt. He'll swing one around the goal and get it up to the point. A wrist shot. Gessar gets in the way of that and blocks it all the way to the netting. Forty-seven remain on the power play. Off the face-off, Marujo drives that one up off a stick and into the netting. Face-off will come outside of the attacking zone. As a result of that puck deflecting off of a stick, forty-two left on the power play for the Minutemen. First of the game for either team. Good play by Roach. Couldn't get it out though. Puck feathered in wide of Larkin's net. 
Pump behind the goal. Sees it whacked away from him by Marujo. Not out of the zone, though. As Roach coming in to throw another check. Puck is taken, though, by the Minutemen. Up to the point. Wrist shot. Getting a piece of that was Larkin. As he'll cover up to this puck that pops out in front of him. Robbie Larkin's been busy in this first period, but looking strong in goal for the Highlanders early. Six minutes even left. In the first, we remain scoreless. Minutemen on the power play still though for a dozen seconds. Off the boards, this comes to Hickey. Backhander, nearly kicked in off a leg out in front. Larkin was able to get back as it's centered again. Off the skates of Donaghy and now numbers the other way for Somerville as moving on in, the chance was put up over top of the net by Slattery. Great penalty killing work by the Highlanders. Largely thanks to their goaltender Robbie Larkin. And then as the penalty time expired, it spurned a rush the other way. And Aiden Slattery was sent in all alone, but he just fired it high over top of Zucker. Teams are back to five on five, even strength. Scoreless here still from the Veterans Memorial Arena. Somerville though getting their best chance of the game, unable though to get the shot on target. Puck in the circle, O'Donovan to the middle. But Cicerone couldn't get the handle. Puck kept in out high by Gessar. It is picked up by O'Donovan. He's met though by two Minutemen. O'Donovan able to keep it here though into the corner. He'll drag it on by. O'Donovan to the far boards, trying to turn away from some traffic, ended up running un into a hit. But now the Minutemen having some trouble here. Vacating the zone as Gessar throws his man down to the ice. The Minutemen with it here. They'll just flip one all the way down the length of the rink. Icing here as the Highlanders certainly have picked up some energy after getting the penalty kill. Crowd also wants a little music too. I wouldn't mind that. Something over the PA at least. It would make the silence in between whistles a little bit less awkward, I guess you could say, as the Minutemen move away with this puck. It's squeaked on through and over to Yang. That was a good rush by Dorian Hu. As it's flubbed across by Kingsbury, D to D. The point was held though by Lexington. Who have gotten more shots on the target here in this first period, but we remain deadlocked at zero. Puck into the corner for Callahan. He'll nudge it back up to the point and get it back here in the corner. Perugio to defend as he swats it away from Hugh. Callahan along the boards, shaking in and putting one through the slot wide. It is skated out by Somerville. To the blue line, Brendan Jones able to work it in deep. He got hit though along the wall. Cassesso couldn't make a play as it's snapped ahead for Yang moving in. That shot wide, glove side, and it pops off the kick plate all the way into the netting. Here with 3.40 left to play in the first. Certainly some interesting bounces here. Inside of the Veterans Memorial Arena, that puck sprung off the yellow kick plate at the bottom of the end boards and popped all the way up into the mesh. As they try a long stretch pass, but the Highlanders instead ice the puck here. Minutemen trying to keep Somerville pinned here after the icing. Puck in behind Larkin. Or Cicerone, rather, trying to lift a stick up there, battling along with Michael DeAngelis. And the puck 
deflecting out to the neutral zone. I believe it hit somebody on the Highlanders bench. That's going to bring the face off to the left of Robbie Larkin. Cicerone able to get it into the corner of Alex Morgan. Puck taken by Hickey, centering pass, great save made by Larkin. Follow up bit was put behind the goal. Huge save for Larkin as he's gotta make another one, this time along the far post. As DeAngelis got caved into the crease. And Robbie Larkin with not one but two. Big denials there to keep this game scoreless. As the Minutemen really warm up to the task there. That was Russell Levert, number 11, who was denied on the first chance. And then DeAngelis on the second. As this is sent in off the stick, no icing. Puck is picked up by Matt DeAngelis. He's in a battle along the far boards. Get some help now from Jones. As that shot wide of Zucker. Off the carom, it is picked up by Lounsbury. Into the near corner, the Minutemen work it up the boards and it's cleared by Hickey out to center. Under two minutes to play in the first period. Long saucer pass, got away from Hickey and then Hickey got stood into by Marujo again. That is the second big hit that he has laid on as the Minutemen now return the favor as a shot from Doe deflected wide. As the hitting really starts to pick up here late in the first, puck pops to Doe into the slot off a stick. It is swept away by Zucker in the crease after he opted not to cover. And then this puck on the clearing attempt finds its way off the surface. Well, this first period of buck 13 to go, but it's featured some big saves and some big hits. It remains scoreless though here between Lexington and Somerville. Face off to the left of Sam Zucker. Who hasn't seen too much rubber his way in this first. Minutemen control on the draw. A weak pass up the far wing was taken away by Doe. Getting help now from Cassesso who steps on through. Cassesso with it here. That shot never got through. Zucker couldn't tie it up. Clear is held by Morgan. Morgan into the corner. Cassesso one-handing one around. Tried to get it to Jones. Cleared by the Minutemen with 45 to go. Same as Foley, the defenseman. Has to retreat, Minutemen take it away. Puck into the skates of Doe now. It's Jones to take it away, he got tripped up. No penalty call coming. Under half a minute to go here. Dorian Hu leaving his way on in. He gets thrilled by Jones into the glass. As the Highlanders continue to establish themselves physically here in this first. O'Donovan throws a man down and we have a stoppage of play here with 11 seconds left. Puck had gone out of play and they'll drop it here at center ice. But certainly a spirited start to this one. They jostle for it at center. It's cleared into Marujo's corner. Final five seconds, he'll just eat up the last few here. And the Minutemen and the Highlanders. 15 minutes gone by and we're scoreless here with zeros on the board. A big period for Robbie Larkin. He really helped the Highlanders stay in this one. And both teams will depart now for the intermission. Deadlocked at nothing. And we'll return for the call of the second here in about 15 minutes or so, you're watching Somerville Boys Varsity High School Hockey on Somerville Ed TV. From the Veterans Memorial Arena in Somerville, scoreless here between the Lexington Minutemen and the Somerville Highlanders. 
largely thanks to the play and goal of Robbie Larkin. He has been their backbone all season long, but in that first period in particular, had to come up with some difficult saves as we are back underway here in period two. Curious to see if that physical tone that was established by Somerville translates over here into this middle stanza. As much as the Islanders were laying some big hits on the opposition, they did not get many shots on goal as Larkin comes up with two saves in succession. Right off the jump here in this second period, 22 seconds in and Robbie Larkin's number is called upon once again. Should be noted as well that Lexington has played significantly more than Somerville this year as Larkin makes a pad stop down low. Three early shots for the Minutemen to open up the period as it's kept along the near boards by Matt Troy, number 22. Marujo up the far board. That puck just gets out underneath the blade of Nolan Kingsbury. But Troy is there to wrap it right back in as the Minutemen try and apply the four check. Hickey run into by Marujo again. Those two have had some confrontations. Marujo has gotten the better of Hickey on a couple as a high hit there will see Troy skate to the box. And the Highlanders will get their first opportunity here on the power play. They call Troy for interference. Opportunity here for the Highlanders, 104 into the second. To try and get some pucks on net at least. They only had five shots in that first period and about two or three of them came from center ice. As Verugio pinching down the boards, able to get it up top. They'll swing it on over. This is Morgan with a shot. Nice blocker save made by Zucker. As right at the line, Marujo played it off the skates of who? And it's finally worked out of danger by number 19, Marcus Adams. Morgan losing the puck here in his own end. Last thing you'd want there is it deflects on out high to the point. Adams with a shot. It breaks the stick of Cicero and he's got to drop it. And he'll head off to the bench. Morgan in control, now to Marujo. Marujo stumbling, lost it. Here comes a shorthanded bid. A backhander off the side of the post. Driving in was Callahan. 55 to go on the power play. Oh, Donovan recollars it in his own end. Morgan, off glass, not into the mesh, but it's cleared back out by the Minutemen. Nothing doing on this power play here outside of the one shot. Marujo able to knock it up the boards. This is Jones. Jones tripped up and another penalty coming up here. It will go on Adams. And we'll have a five on three power play for Somerville coming up. 24 to go on the interference penalty to Troy. Just 24 seconds of five on three time to work with. They are unable to win the faceoff, and it's rifled all the way down and out by Donny. Troy to exit the penalty box now in 10 seconds. Puck is dropped to Jones. Now Gessar with a shot. Add save made by Zucker. Rebound to Jones. Foley with a chance. That's off the left toe of Zucker. One penalty is over. It's a five on four as that shot changed directions out in front. Foley at the point. Unable to keep it in. Nice work there by LeBert. 
Jones moves it on across. Here comes Cassesso in. The shot saved made by Zucker. Cassesso throwing his weight around, but the puck is cleared. All the way back down to Larkin. 105 now left on the penalty to Adams. But a couple of good shots in on to Sam Zucker, who has looked sharp here. As O'Donovan had it checked away, and then he got melted in the corner. Puck was centered out in front. Doe was turned away. Another opportunity. And that drifts wide of the net. Islanders trying to keep it in here. Cicerone, he got belted, but got it up to the line for Morgan. Now O'Donovan into the slot off of Doe's stick, and it's chopped out of trouble all the way down by the Minutemen. In the period of the long change, they'll try and get fresh killers out there. With 18 seconds to go in the power play for the Highlanders. Short pass up the near wing, picked up by Doe. Doe, stick check, Cicerone, he gets toppled there on a hit. And it's cleared out by the Minutemen, that will do it. As Larkin will be forced to cover on pressure from Liam Hunt, but the Minutemen successfully come through, killing off two minor penalties, including 24 seconds of Five on three power play time. 10-15 left here in the second. And we're still scoreless here between the Highlanders and the Minutemen. This one off the short side. Larkin sticked it away. Now it's centered. And Larkin getting the stick to that shot. He turned aside Hunt. Now trying to move his way on in is Slattery. He'll turn it back into the circle, but it was overstated. Giving up though to Morgan, he moves it in quickly. This one is sent around the net of Zucker. As they look to center, Lounsbury in there to finish the check. As the Highlanders continue to throw the body. Morgan. Zigzagging on through center, Morgan with a shot, and that's blockered all the way up and out by Zucker. Nice rush there from the defenseman, Morgan. And another shot on target for the Highlanders. Buck just got out of Cassesso's reach. Sprinting back ahead with it is DeAngelis. That shot went wide. It's behind Larkin's net. Marujo tying up with Callahan. Puck centered into the slot, but underneath Hughes' stick. And it will careen all the way back to Zucker, who sets it up here. And the men are out with it quickly. Pass right on. Callahan in. And he snaps that shot well wide, stick side. Long opportunity from the point. And Larkin scoops it up off the ice with the trapper. Cicerone winning the faceoff. Puck is flopped ahead for O'Donovan. He got checked down. O'Donovan keeps it moving and centers out of Cicerone's reach. Puck to the front off of Who. Who taking it back. Stick handles around Gessar. And now leads the rush here, getting help from Donahue. Donahue's pass off of Marujo. Skips out high. Gessar got back. As it's to the middle, Cicerone clears it ahead, but not out. Puck fired on, Larkin kicks it aside as Q let it go. And now Cicerone trying to one-hand it across. Eventually got it to O'Donovan and the Highlanders clear it in. Eight minutes to go here in the second. Puck ping-pongs to center. 
Rope fires in on to Zucker. Minutemen moving through center. Getting checked there, Donahue, but he got it to the blue line. Buck sent around to the near boards. Fired on to Larkin, he pads it aside. Islanders trying to clear, off the glass they go. Now it's picked up here by Slattery. Slattery shot, and the save is made by Zucker. There's no rebound. Attacking zone face off here for the Highlanders. It's a stalemate though in the circle. Puck pops to the point. A wrist shot was caught by Zucker. He had no idea where it was. But the Minutemen were there to get it to the corner. Another long bid by Foley. And that hit something, but not the goaltender Zucker. Puck moved into the corner for Cassesso. He's given a crunch. Now Doe turning in the circle. And he turned that shot wide. Morgan slings one around, trying to keep the pressure applied. Doe couldn't get it down low to Cassesso, but now he does. Cassesso giving a check. Puck in deep. It is centered, but it bounced away from Cassesso. He's able to knock the clearing attempt down. Good pressure here from the Highlanders. Doe, he got knocked off the puck. It then got away from Cassesso. But the Minutemen can only get to the red line before Morgan sends it back in. Puck off of Marujo's stick, no icing. Roach with time. Tried to get it to O'Donovan. It's kept in by the Minutemen all the way around to the far boards. Now in deep. Now centered out high. Big drive there and that caught somebody in the head. And I believe it was LeBert as Marujo tried to leave the rush the other way. It was not LeBert, but Michael DeAngelis, number 17. With the way the jersey was tucked, it looked like an 11. And he took a shot right off his helmet as he gets himself to the bench. Meanwhile, they battle in the far corner of the Somerville zone. It is up top to the point for a shot that Larkin had to make the save on. It appeared to change directions as Matt Troy let it go from the far point. Oh, Donovan just able to get it to center. Looking to return it in deep was Hunt. But now it is Tenzin Gessar to move in. Gessar dropping it off, puck in the Cicero skates. It's on his knees, he hit the crossbar as he tried to elevate the backhander. Oh, Donovan couldn't spin away from the hit. Callahan trying to squeeze on through. A nice check from Foley, who goes to line him up again. Puck taken here by the Minutemen, but too hot to handle at the point. Kingsbury, though, recovers and clears it in. What an opportunity though for Nick Cicerone, the captain. Putting the backhand try off the crossbar. He never gave up on that rush though. As Larkin trying to find a puck along the short side. It's moved in back of the goal and now driven up the wall. But the Highlanders trying to get to it. Doe able to chip around a couple. But Kingsbury there to clear. Now Doe moving back in along with Cassesso. Out there with Brendan Jones who throws the hit there. Jones turns and wheels that one wide off glass. This line has been able to really get the four checking going. Doe, Cassesso and Jones. As Doe navigates his way through and centers. That's off a of skate and through the crease. Lexington able to get to the red line and now the blue line. 
Onside, they'll get this deep into the corner. We are still scoreless here. 3.20 to go in the second. The Highlanders ice the puck. Off the face-off, a uh, shot never got through. Taking it was Donahue. At the point, tough keep for Yang, who keeps it in again off his glove. Able to push that one past Marujo. It's sent up the wing again, a shot tipped. Nice save made by Larkin. Buck cleared out by the Highlanders, but Ravi Larkin with a Nice right pad save there. After the point shot from Donahue was deflected and roots. Angelus wrestled down to the ice there along with Hugh. Shot goes off the stick of Roach as the Minutemen work it in deep. Along the short side, Larkin able to paddle it away. And it's cleared out by Somerville across the neutral zone and into Minutemen territory. They'll look for a quick up here as Hugh getting it here out high. Here's Hugh with a shot. That goes wide of the net. Marujo scrapes a backhander forward, not out of the zone. Trouble though for Donahue. And now here comes Cicerone. He'll snap that shot. Trying to go far side and he missed. Guess our first shot, oh, that chance tipped. The save was made. And Zucker had it tied up just enough as it was in between his pads. Nice work there from Cicerone after he found Tenzin Desar fresh onto the ice. He got right back to the front of the net. And Gessar let the shot go and it was trouble for Zucker to try and find it, but he had it in between his knees. 152 to go here in the second. We still look for our first goal here between the Minutemen and Highlanders. That pass got on through a couple of skates. A long shot in, and Larkin will freeze it. Well, the Highlanders have certainly done a better job getting more shots on goal in this second. They've had two power plays in the period as well, both of them coming early at 104 and then 240. That really helped get their offense going, but. Since then, they've leveled it out as a shot blocked off O'Donovan's shin pads. Now O'Donovan will work it into the zone here, far wing. He's given a good crunch there along the board, but he one-handed one out in front as Cicerone ran into the goaltender, Zucker. As he tried to tip on that bid from Aiden O'Donovan, who kept his feet moving after taking a check. 116 left to go in the second. And Doe's line comes out for head coach Chris Capasso along with Cassesso and Jones, who will line up right behind Doe on the faceoff. Doe trying to win it back. Couldn't. Puck through center ice. It's played on ahead. Callahan might have numbers. Shot blocked off Marujo. He'll send one that's off the legs there of Marcus Adams. Jones nearly had a takeaway as Cassesso will play this one in with 55 to go. Jones chasing along with Doe. That pass was intended for Callahan. Instead, it is icing. That will send Cicerone's line over the boards. Right back out there with 45 ticks remaining. Here in the middle period, we are still goalless. Both Robbie Larkin and Sam Zucker, especially in this second period for Zucker. Both goaltenders have been real good though. As you could imagine in a 0-0 game, 
Roach to Cicerone. He'll batter this one in. Oh, Donovan knocked down to his knees. Puck sent ahead, and now it could be a rush late here. Who to the middle? Shot is Robbie Larkin with a huge save and a cover up. 21 seconds to go, and Robbie Larkin doing it all game long, and that's a huge save late in the period to keep things scoreless. And on top of it, the Highlanders getting booked for a penalty. O'Donovan is going to sit along with Colvin Callahan. After Robbie Larkin came up with a huge breakaway save here with 21 seconds left and then he pounced all over the rebound to melt it all down. But a pair of penalties here late. They'll be matching penalties though. And so we'll have five aside here still after there was some rough stuff. Men and men not done here though. There's still time in the period. Larkin through the traffic is able to reach out with the glove and that'll calm things down here. Have to manage the puck well in your own end, especially in front of your goaltender here late as right off the draw. Uh, backhand try was wide. The seven seconds to go in the period. Foley blocks the pass, ribbons one around. Kingsbury can't get the shot away. And the second period will end just as the first period did, scoreless. Here from the Veterans Memorial Arena in Somerville, Robbie Larkin continuing to stand tall. And along with Sam Zucker of the Minutemen, those two have denied everything here through 30 minutes. As we'll step aside here for the intermission, Highlanders and Minutemen head to the dressing room, deadlock still at zero. We're back here for the call of the third period as you're watching Somerville High School Varsity Hockey on Somerville Ed TV. We are back here inside of the Veterans Memorial Arena. Third period set to go between the Highlanders and the Minutemen. Deadlocked at zero through 30 minutes of play. Robbie Larkin though coming up with a huge breakaway save with 21 seconds left in the second period to keep things scoreless and this puck along the short side, Zucker losing his stick and the puck as he tried to cover up along the short side. And he just had it tied up long enough to get the whistle. As the Highlanders rolled out the Cassesso, Doe, and Jones line, and that line has been real good here today in terms of their four check. We're just 22 seconds into the period. Officials are conferencing here over something. I'm a little perplexed here as to why there is a stoppage. But nonetheless, 22 seconds into the period, referees have stopped play here as they deliberate in front of the scorekeeper's area. Now we're ready to get going. The faceoff will be to the right of the goaltender, Sam Zucker. No idea what 
that lengthy stoppage was for. I'm not alone either, which is nice to know. But nonetheless, we're back underway. After that early whistle, 22 seconds into the third. We remain scoreless. As the Minutemen look to change that here. Nice move moving in, and that one was off the post. Liam Hunt coming in down the right wing side. Centering attempts, the challenge from Marujo. Puck out in front, all the way back. A point shot there, stopped by Larkin. The rebound is swatted at, and Jones will skate it out. He has Cassesso with him. Cassesso pass, rebound, they score! And the Highlanders break the ice as Cassesso followed up his own rebound. And it's one to nothing, finally! That goal coming 108 into the third from Chris Cassesso. After Zucker stopped him originally, Cassesso was parked out all alone, still in front, as looking to counter are the Minutemen. And we finally have a goal here from the Veterans Memorial Arena. It's the home side leading it. Puck up to the point, that shot tips. And Larkin able to freeze it long enough. After Adams' point shot was tipped en route. Larkin battling there with lots of pushing and shoving out there in front of him. Chris Cassesso though with the icebreaker here. And it gives the Highlanders a 1-0 lead to work with. Foley uses the glass, gets it out. Puck was nearly taken away by O'Donovan as he tried to put some pressure on. This puck iced here by Lexington. Well, 58 to go in the third. Early goal for the Highlanders, and it belongs to number seven, Chris Cassesso. He's off the faceoff. Here's O'Donovan right on. Pass stopped by Zucker. Puck sent all the way up the wing. Scampering in and getting a shot away was Labert. Larkin with the stick save. Now Gessar trying to get around one. Into the corner, Gessar looking for Cicerone to help him out. Puck is work free and now up the wing by Lexington. Rope, able to drop the shoulder into his man. That was Jack Applegate. Applegate trying to return the favor, but Cicerone skating with it here. Pass angled in off the stick of O'Donovan. The Highlanders will change up. Clapping the stick, Lebert. This pass, no icing, but it did not hit Lebert. Cassesso's line out here as it's poked over for Doe. And now Jones unable to win a foot race as he tries to pressure Hunt. Hunt knocked down by Jones. No penalty. Minutemen bench looking for one. They battle for it there, far boards. It squirts free for Doe. Tried to leave it at the point. That puck just drifted offside. And so Somerville has to tag up. Right up the middle. Knocked down off the legs of Morgan. But it bubbles on over. Hunt off the stick of Doe. Taken here by Foley. Nearly too many men on the ice. As the Highlanders are in the midst of a change. Jones. Snakes away from a check and is able to play this one all the way around as the Highlanders look to finish the game. Through center ice come the Minutemen. Near wing, a shot. 
And that's flippered away by Larkin. This one now rolls out high. Skating away with it though here is Slattery, two on one. Slattery shot, the save was made, and then the rebound just got out of Lounsbury's reach. He looks to center again, off the skates of Adams. Now Slattery in close. That's wide. Slattery knocked down as this puck along the side of the goal. And the cover can be made by Zucker. And Slattery got the shot he wanted there. Low into the far pad with purpose. But Lounsbury, who is coming down his off wing, just couldn't get his stick to it. Off the face-off, controlled here by the Minutemen. Cicerone is the lone four-checker in deep. Now Gessar ranging in to try and help. Marujo, nifty self-pass there. That keeps possession as he works it in deep. O'Donovan, clipped on a check. Puck to the line, not out. Now it is, slapped all the way forward. Yang moving in, and Marujo blocking that shot which appears to sting him a bit. Nonetheless, Dylan Marujo finishes a check. Puck up to the far point. It sails on wide. Up top again to the point. Rister there from Adams. Lands behind the net. Callahan tried to center. And instead, Marujo caved him in. Now the puck poked ahead by Dessar to O'Donovan, but he stood up at the line there. A nice stick check by the Minutemen. 9.25 left here in the third. One goal game. As this is in on to Larkin who sticks it into the corner. Foley. Pressure there by Hugh. Hugh. Lost it to Doe. Puck taken back and centered. But the Minutemen couldn't shoot it. Another long bid blocked by Jones. Puck not out of trouble still. Finally Foley is able to work one up the wing and out, but it will have enough for icing. All the way back down to Larkin is this face off. Dole able to win it back. Morgan up the boards, but not out. It is held here by Matt Hickey. Right in front of the Highlanders bench. Doe able to get it forward. Now he gets the handle back and accelerates in. Doe shoots. Never got it onto the net. Great job getting back that time by the Minutemen. It is sent up the far wing. A pass offside as it was behind Donnie. Marujo to Cassesso. He can get the red line and clear it in. Puck is working, but cut down by Marujo. Another attempt, and it's flipped in wide of Larkin. Marujo was flushed out by Moore. Brown very able to get the puck out through center. DeAngelis turns it over after not getting it in deep. Nice play though by Roach. As now it's worked over for Lounsbury who moves in. Lounsbury stumbles as he goes down into the corner boards. Puck airborne off the legs of Marujo. He's able to keep and flip a backhander into the far corner. Puck on its edge to center. And O'Donovan there to snap it back in. One nothing game here in the third. And now a foot race here for Hickey. He'll get there first, no icing. Works it around in deep. Michael DeAngelis closed off by Cicerone. Morgan up the boards. O'Donovan can't turn it out. Puck still there, finally cleared the length of the ice by O'Donovan. It is an icing though, however, against Somerville.
6.55 to go here in the third. Chris Casesso's goal is the difference. Minutemen pushing. Puck was wrapped out in front, but not a black sweater there to make a play. Nice job to keep along the line there by Matt Troy as it's into the blue again. Worked out by O'Donovan. He tries to ax that one out of the zone. Can't. Troy took a check, but made the play to keep it in. Troy, the defenseman, sends it up to the near point. Wrist shot blocked out off Cicerone. Now they'll try and lead Gessar ahead. Thought the puck was too far ahead of him. He now looks to center. O'Donovan got the chance on and the save made by Zucker. Great second effort by Aiden O'Donovan, but now here come the Minutemen. Callahan middle, and he flubbed that shot wide. O'Donovan trying to get help from Cicerone. Puck worked in deep for Callahan. Lost it to Ropes. Up to the line. Troy able to twirl this one in deep. Long shift here for this forward group. Cicerone closes off on Callahan. Puck intercepted by O'Donovan, but he cannot clear. Puck bounces now through the middle. But it's taken here by Hugh. Puck poked past Cicerone. A lot of running around here for the Highlanders. As the Minutemen in possession, but it was lost that time by Hickey. Ice here by Somerville. Oh, a great shift there though from Lexington. They had tired bodies out on the ice and they knew it. Pressuring and pressuring, but unable to break through. Here with 5.20 left to go in a one nothing game. Shot, Larkin juggling it. Still can't cover it, and they'll score! 14 left after Larkin had juggled the first shot. And getting on the board for Lexington, Liam Hunt looked to cash in on the rebound. And it's a 1-1 game here with 5.14 to go. Nine forty-six. the time of that goal. And we're level here from the Veterans Memorial Arena. Trying to step on through, Hunt again. And Larkin had to fend that off the right arm. Out high, opportunity there, blocked. It's swatted ahead to Jones. And he'll backhand one out. All the way down, Casesso to chase after it. This puck all the way down by the Minutemen. Icing here with four and a half to go. And now a one-to-one -one game. And Hunt was looking to get number two quickly there. He's had a couple rushes here this afternoon where he's been able to knife through the defense. And he challenged Larkin there on a well-placed shot, but Robbie able to flex at it with the blocker arm. The Minutemen really putting it on here as they're right back in quickly. Ryan Moore forced wide, tried to get it up to the point, looking to work this puck out is Slattery, and he does. Nice work by Aiden Slattery. As the Highlanders move it D to D, Marujo to the red line. That's wristed on in, waiting for it, Slattery. Now into the corner, Troy pressure, puck into the circle. DeAngelis the shot, save made by Zucker. Nobody wants the puck here along the line. As DeAngelis keeping it in, holding on, passing over, and it's put off the side of the net. The clear just gets over Roach's stick. Minutemen trying to change up here. Good work done by Matt DeAngelis, in particular on that last shift for Somerville. 
Bodied down the clearing attempt and then kept the pressure on. He nearly slid one across for Aiden Slattery. Morgan kept it in originally. Puck now to Yang. Shot, save Larkin. Rebound. Larkin moved over there as well. Three minutes to go in the third. 1-1 one, one game. Centering attempt, blocked down. Morgan was there along with Foley. Yang, though, will wrap one back in deep. This is Callahan. He'll fillet one back to the point. Sharp angle chance into the middle, poked away, but it's kept out high here. Flipped up and into the ceiling. The Highlanders will take any whistle they can get here. A timeout called here. 2.34 to go. Or 2.35, I should say, to go here in the third after the Highlanders open the scoring up early in the period. 108 in. Chris Cassesso following up his own rebound. It was Liam Hunt at the 9.46 mark tying the game up cashing in on a rebound opportunity of his own. After Larkin had trouble with the first shot, it looked to pop out of his glove and get away from him. And it was hammered in there by Hunt, who's had a couple of chances here this afternoon. All the goals coming in this third period after playing 30 minutes of scoreless hockey through the first and second. Minutemen 5-11-0 on the season. They have played 16 games. The Highlanders just 2-3-2. Two, two. Having only played seven, this is just game number eight of the year here for Somerville. Trying to get their record back to 500 at 2-3-2. Two, two. What a stiff challenge here against the Lexington Minutemen who have really Ported on here in this third period after surrendering, surrendering the game's first goal. Puck clubbed into the corner. Minutemen with it as Foley goes in there to lay it set. One against three, trying to step on through with Hickey. Hickey tags back up, looks to pressure Foley, who sends one up a vacated wing. Turnaround chance there. Hunt pounded one wide as it's sent all the way down icing is the call Loosen some skates. Play towards the middle, but Marujo getting physical. Took down his man in front. That was Callahan. Puck now out high. A wrist shot blocked in front of Larkin. And they're able to clear it aside. Puck 45 to go here in the third. Puck flubbed ahead. Yang in deep. Picked up by Callahan. Centering feed off the back of a skate. Up to the point again, that drive blocked down and DeAngelis will lead the rush, potentially a three on two. Now a three on four, DeAngelis into the middle. It's bunted out of danger. The line is held by Roach. In deep, Lounsbury tried to center. Had Slattery in the slot. As this puck is out to center ice. Morgan steered it ahead. Good back pressure by Lounsbury as we tip into the final minute here of the third. Looks like O'Donovan had his helmet locked up with 
Q. And that leads to a stoppage of play as there's just 58 seconds left to go in this final period of regulation. And Donovan will adjust his helmet after getting tangled up with Dorian Hugh. And now, the timeout issued by the Highlanders. 58 seconds to go here in the third. They'll drop the puck just outside the Lexington blue line here in this one-to-one -one game. Head coach Chris Capasso has out the big gunners still, O'Donovan, Cicerone, and uh, Gessar. He looks to draw something up here with his players lined up right in front of him. Bobby Larkin trying to stay poised as well in the nets. He has been great here today. Victimized off a tough rebound. But if not for his play, this game could have already been well out of reach. The Minutemen really had some prime opportunities back in the first and in the second, including a breakaway with 21 seconds left in the period, and Larkin was able to turn that aside. He is the reason, along with Sam Zucker at the other end, why this is just a one-to-one -one game. Minutemen. Go D to D here in their own zone. Buck was off the stick of Doe, now to center. Foley lost it to Hickey. Hunt trying to move in, one against three. Hunt losing his stick in the process. Ticks it in below the goal line. As O'Donovan sends it up the wing, not out. Puck along the short side. Not out in front though, as they look to work it here. This is DeAngelis who's lost it. 22 to go, Cicerone right onto the tape, O'Donovan fires, and that was blocked off of John Donny. Now here comes Hunt, but getting back was Doe, nicely done by him. Under 10 seconds to go in the third, Doe uses the glass, and that should do it for the third period. One to one, here from the Veterans Memorial Arena in Somerville. We'll have three on three overtime up next. Here between the Minutemen and the Highlanders. Tied up at one. All the goals coming in that third period. With the Highlanders striking a minute and eight seconds in on a goal from Chris Cassesso. That was answered at the 946 mark by Lexington's Liam Hunt. The goaltenders will switch ends here, if I'm not mistaken. Both Larkin and Zucker have been lights out. As Zucker will glide to the net here to our left. And Larkin will take to the goal down to our right. I believe it's three on three for overtime here. But it appears that it might be four on four instead. All right, it's four on four. Thought they were gonna do three on three. Feel like that would probably help get a result a little quicker, but it'll be four on four instead and overtime is underway. As we look to find a winner here from Somerville. 
Starting up is Dorian Hugh. Stick check by Doe. It's followed up. Here the Minutemen have it. Up to the point. It nearly got away from Yang. He rescues it and sends it in deep. Marujo hooks it over for Cassesso. The lone goal scorer in regulation. Tries to stab a pass forward, but couldn't connect to Doe. Good stick check from Marujo on Hugh. Doe pressuring as the lone four checker. Both forwards change out for Somerville. Moving in, Callahan can't get around Roach. Puck is tipped the head. Cicerone now will look to apply pressure as Lexington gets it away. O'Donovan and Cicerone out there, along with Foley and Morgan for the Highlanders. Puck cleared away by Morgan from the middle. Callahan turns one into the corner. He's out there still with Yang. John Donahue scampering over, getting there, and playing one into the feet of O'Donovan. O'Donovan curling back, three and a half to go. Here in OT, Cicerone gave it away. Here comes Donahue moving in, and Larkin makes the save up high. There is no rebound off his chest. That will give both teams an opportunity to change. Here with 3.22 left in four on four, sudden death overtime. On the draw, it's one back to Roach. Doe, unable to get it through, Donnie. Marujo couldn't get it ahead to Doe. A nice stick check by Hunt. Hunt spun off the puck. It is cleared out by the Highlanders. Donahue ahead. This is Hunt. Hunt getting around Roach. Hunt tried to drop the pass back. It's taken by Roach instead. Now for Gessar. Self pass. Tenzin Gessar in. But the shot there was blocked. Gessar gets it back. Turns one up to the point, but it was on its edge. Roach couldn't make a play on it. Fresh forwards coming on. As the Minutemen move in, they might have a two on one. Hunt in, shooting, and Larkin makes the save. But then they give it right back to Hunt. Played off the pads of Larkin and gathered up by Slattery. Held in by the Minutemen. Turned in deep. This is picked up by DeAngelis off a skate. Another opportunity blocked by Foley. All minute men here in the overtime is it centered into the middle. Missed that. Somerville here trying to get out of trouble. Backhander was off the short side bolt. It is cleared all the way down where it will be common icing. And somehow, despite some furious pressure, this game still does not have a winner. The Minutemen, though, all over the puck here. After some real careless play by the Highlanders right in front of Larkin. Not enough feet moving and too many waving sticks. Cicerone on the draw. It was a stalemate with Callahan. Larkin able to get the stick down there to make the save. Morgan's got it here for the Highlanders. Off the legs of O'Donovan. Buck 37 left here in overtime as Cicerone and Callahan went down. O'Donovan unable to make a play. Here comes Callahan trying to knife through. Puck taken here, shot stopped by Larkin. On the low range bid from Yang. Short pass up the boards. It never got to Cicerone. Morgan finally able to get it out, but Callahan cuts it off and works it back in. He bumps off of Cicerone. As we tick towards the final minute of overtime. 59 seconds to go. Morgan trying to spring in O'Donovan. Onside play, and the shot was snapped wide by Cicerone, who went poking at the glove of Zucker, who didn't really appreciate that, but the two make up there. 
Don't think anybody for the minute man expected that to be a playable puck. But Cicerone stepped into the wrist shot and missed. 52 seconds to go. Doe out there with Cassesso, but Doe loses the face off to Hunt. Here come the Minutemen with 45 seconds to go. Hunt moving in. That drop down by Marugio. And that allows for Larkin to cover up. Hunt and Marugio exchange some words now. There is 42 seconds left here in OT. Somerville has two ties on the year. Minutemen do not have one. Short side bid, Larkin had it all covered up. Hunt relentless though here on Morgan. Marujo throws his man down in the corner. Up to the point, it's dealt across D to D. Troy with a shot. And the glove save is made by Larkin. Marujo letting Morgan know that perhaps there's an easier and better play to make there. There is just 18 seconds left to go in this game. Men and men trying to get the win here. Cicerone looking to protect on the faceoff, but it's worked in behind Larkin's net. Just 10 seconds to go here in OT. Uh, point shot there, sizzled wide. Rebound off the skates of Marujo. Cicerone unable to clear, just two seconds left. And that is how this game is going to end. A 1-1 tie. Some great goaltending from Robbie Larkin and Sam Zucker. That does it for us though here from the Veterans Memorial Arena. I want to thank my great production crew here tonight as the Highlanders and Minutemen skate away. 1-1, a tie here on this Sunday. You've been watching Somerville Boys Varsity Hockey here on Somerville Ed TV. I'm Tyler Rago signing off here from Somerville. Have a good evening, everybody.